Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Code with Chris, and today we're going to be talking about the Xcode Project Navigator. Okay, so I just want to remind you guys that the navigator area is this pinkish section to the left here. Now let me bring up Xcode, and this project is in the link below. You can either start your own project or you can download the one in the link and follow along. But we're going to be going over the navigator area here. So you can see this bar with all these icons at the top is the navigator selector bar. There's actually several different uh, you know, things you can navigate. But we're going to focus on the first icon, which is the project navigator, where you're going to see all the files for your project. Now, in this view, you're going to see four different things. You're going to see projects, which is this blue icon right here that indicates a project and you can have multiple Xcode projects in a single Xcode workspace. And the next thing is groups which are these yellow folder looking icons but I want to make one thing clear is that these are not representative of the actual folders on your file system. So let me pull up my finder and you can see here that this is the project I'm looking at through Xcode. Um, this folder structure is not representative of of these files. I can move these files around within my, um, my within my project navigator, and it will not affect the actual files sitting on my file system. Now, the second thing you can, uh, the third thing you can have are actual folder references, and those are indicated by blue icons. Now, that will actually map to something on the file system. So let me give you an example of that. Um, for example, if I dragged this folder from Finder over and I said create folder references, references instead of group, then it's going to show me that this is a folder reference. Now there are pros and cons to either doing groups or folder references and I'm going to go through that uh, in the next video when we talk about adding files to the solution. So I'm going to remove that for now. And the last thing you can have in this project navigator are files. So you know these are your files right here. So that's it for this video. We went over what we can expect to see in the project navigator in Xcode. And let me leave you guys with a fun fact. Did you know that multitasking was only available as of iOS 4? And the question I'm going to leave you guys off with is, did you own the very first generation iPhone? And if you did, do you remember what it was like before multitasking was available? Let me know in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys next time.